Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. This is One Top Trigger here. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best FPS out of your escape from Tarkov. I'll be talking about numbers of things to the control panel, to also the game, and also to the post effects settings. And I'll also be showing you the best color settings to be able to see players at a longer distance, and also the best settings on how to be able to brighten up your screen so then you can see more in the dark and so you can see players, like I said, at a longer distance. So without further ado, let's get into it now like i said i'm going to show you how to get a better best fps but it also comes down to your equipment as well your graphics card your cpu your board your memory it can come down to a million things and it also can come down to escape from tarkov it's not really that optimized but it's optimized enough but it's not it's still going through some phases and some bugs at the moment which nikita's not to blame it's just with the current pandemic that's happening and this, that and the other, it's kind of really hard to actually be able to develop a game because they're all working from home. So you need to bear with them. But another thing, turn off binaural audio. That is the first thing that I will start with. Binaural audio is bugged at the moment, so you do need to turn it off. Nikita has said it in the launcher, so please do it until he says or anybody says otherwise. So please turn it off. So. The screen that we're going to go to first is the desktop so then we can go through the nvidia control panel and we're going to sort it out from there so as you can see we're on the nvidia control panel we're going to go to adjust desktop color settings because like i said i'm going to show you how to be able to see better through the day and also see better at night time at night time do you still need to use night vision yes but it depends what map you go on and it depends what kind of setting it is weather wise so first thing is is you would have it like this you won't be able to see a difference on my screen but yeah, i'll be able to see the difference and if i do this my screen gets a lot brighter now with your monitor your brightness and your contrast turn it all the way to 100 percent or whatever maximum you can have if it's hurting your eyes put it back to default like i said it's your preference if you want to have it higher have it higher if not that's fine if you're not struggling with seeing people but you're struggling with frames and that is fine so i have mine at 55 on brightness contrast 67 and gamma 120 anything above that it just looks way too bright and it hurts my eyes from there we're going to go to manage 3d settings and we're going to go to program settings you want to find your escape from turco from the drop down if it's not here then click on add if you've run the game in the past which i would auto I'll automatically assume that you have because you've clicked on this video you want to click the escape from turco.exe if it isn't there then you want to go to browse you want to go to where your game is located it could be in your c drive or it could be any any other drive but please if you haven't got it on an SSD and you do have an SSD, please put it on an SSD. It will help your loading times drastically. You want to click the escape from Tarkov.exe. You do not want to click the battle light. This is not relevant. Right. Then you want to scroll down. You want to go to power management mode and you want to go to prefer maximum performance. On your texture filtering, uh, anisotropic sample optimization. Now this... I don't remember turning it on, but I, I think it's helping. I don't know, but turn it to on. From there, you've got your texture filter quality to high performance. Texture filtering trial and error optimization to on. You want to turn your threaded optimization to auto. You want to turn your virtual sync to off. The reason why I'm saying turn your virtual sync off is because I'm showing you how to also unlock your frames as well in game. After you've done that, click apply. Another thing that I would also recommend that you do is you would open up your EFT and then click on your escape from Tarkov, right click on it, open properties. From here, you want to go to compatibility. You want to change high DPI settings, you want to click this. You want to then click on high DPI scale override, override the high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performance by application, press OK. What that will help is when you're doing your left and right and you're up and down, it will get rid of the blur. Won't get rid of all of it, but it'll get rid of some of it. It's just this blur when, because it's trying to optimize your DPI on your mouse and this, that and the other, and it's just, yeah. And if you want to know what DPI stands for, it st stands for dots per inch. From there, we will open up the game. So first thing you want to do is go on to game. This is irrelevant. This is just your name, this, that, and the other. This is obviously MRS one tap, which is obviously my wife. This is not my wife's account. She didn't play a script from Tarkov. I just thought I would call myself, obviously, after my wife. Auto RAM cleaner. It's for anybody that's using 8 gig or less. Please turn it on. It 
people say it helps people say it don't help but i'm just saying turn it on if you don't want to turn it on like i said personal preference use only the physical cores now if you have a cpu that has hyper threading you do not need to put this on because you need to use your hyper threading cores now if you have a cpu like me that has only physical cores then use only physical cores to me if i take this off or on it doesn't really make a difference people say that you lose frames if you turn it off so have a little test with this go into an offline raid turn it on then come out that raid go into your settings turn it off restart your game thing and then do a comparison which is better if it helps turn it on if it doesn't turn it off fov and head bobbing it's not uh, relevant but i have mine at 75 and 2 now let's go into the graphics now this is where you come into the vsync settings this is where i'm going to show you now how to look your frames as you can see my frames at top is fps 220 right so i'm getting over 60 frames as it's saying if i turn this off what that's going to do it's going to put my frames back to 60 frames so that's why you choose to have it on texture filter and quality medium shadow quality medium object LED quality too now if you're having a bit of fps drops and you can't understand why turn this to medium keep this at medium shadow quality turn it to low overall visibility 2000 like i said if you drop in frames test it do not go 300 go 100 400 or 1500 but i'm okay with having it at two shadow visibility put it to 80 like i said if you're losing frames put it all the way down to 40 it's just a distance of where you can see shadows anti-aliasing taa if you are struggling with frames again put it to fxaa if you're still struggling with frames turn it off but your game is not really going to look that sharp Resampling, turn it off unless you have a 30 series graphics card and even then when you have a 30 series graphics card, I would still recommend you turn it off. HBO off, SSR off, anastropic filtering off. Sharpness, I have mine on 7. You can tinker with this and see what works for you, but I have it at 7 and it works absolutely fine. Now, if you've opened the game for the first time ever, you will have some of these options down here selected. Take them all off. They're just not relevant. They're not needed. They don't need to be the high quality color. This, I didn't really see a difference when uh, Nikita's team added it. it. This says that it's supposed to increase performance. It might work for you, but it does not work for me. So try this one. See if it works for you. If it does, then grand. If it doesn't, then turn it off. After you've done that, always use, always use screen mode full screen. Borderless seems to be very choppy. Only a select few of people can handle it being a borderless, but what it feels like when you're playing it, it feels choppy and stuttery. Basically, it feels like you're doing this constantly when you're in the game. So I have mine on full screen, and you'll get the best performance out of it. Now, the post effect settings, this can drastically change your frames, and I'm going to show you that in game in a minute. But I have my brightness at 15, saturation at 35, clarity at 75, colourfulness at 0 because I use 100% on my um, digital vibrance. Which I don't know if I covered that, but digital vibrance is your personal preference. Um, adaptive sharpen uh, 75 and then colour grading and colour blind mode. I turn them off because I don't need them. And then after that, click save. Now what we will do is we'll get into a raid, so I'll see you there. Right. Now we're into a raid. Um, always come into an offline raid when you're uh, when you're uh, testing your settings. I should shot that light then, but never mind. And I always stand here when I want to do a comparison with my frames. And I'll also try and put as much in my screen. Right. Things that I'm going to talk about right now is your FO3 slider. This is what you see on screen when you have your FOV at 75. And this is what you see on your screen when you have your FOV all the way down to the default setting, which is 50. This. Now, when you have it at 50, yes, you'll be able to see players a lot, lot better and this, that and the other. But if you're aiming here, you can't see here. Or if you're just like this, you can't see down there. Will it help your frames? I don't know. I haven't done enough testing to see if it helps your frames. So, that's something to keep in mind when you're choosing to have your FOV the way it is. Right, so, anyway. As you can see, my frames right now, looking at this screen, are between 110 and 115. Now, if I turn my post-effect settings off, and I click save, 
my frames then boost all the way up to 143 and above that's because post fx can also drastically change the performance another thing that i would also recommend like i said at the start of the video is turn binaural sound off until anybody says otherwise or nikita says otherwise and puts the post on twitter because currently at the moment this is bugged and it's recommended everybody to turn it off so as you can see post effects will give you drastically a lot more frames now we will go on to the post effects settings we're going to visualize right now and as you can see that it's blurry in the background this is why i like to have them on because then you can see it more clearly so if anybody's peeking over there i'll be able to see them a lot lot better now will i continue to use these probably not i don't know yet but as you can see the frames are drastically different when you do turn them off and when you turn them on so that is your choice if you want to have them on lose frames that is your choice but if you want the best out of your frames please turn it off because you just don't need them like i said anything that i edit in here will not count because i'm in the raid so what i'll have to do is end the raid change the settings restart the game and then go into a raid and then test it and then obviously you've got all of this stuff uh same settings that's what i have been saying and then obviously controls uh this is what they are so what we'll do now is we'll talk a little bit more and we'll go into the full screen mode so i hope this guide was helpful for you uh but i would really recommend if you do have the post effect settings on and you're struggling getting frames on any map please turn them off because at the end of the day they can be really good to be able to see people but they can also be punishing so basically you have a pro and a con to it you have a pro because you can see players a lot easier but the con is also it will drastically decrease your performance will this ever be fixed in the future too where it will not affect your performance i don't know i really do not know but i'll keep you informed if anything like that i'll probably end up probably putting that question forward will that ever be fixed it might be fixed in the new unity engine i i don't know i really don't if i get into the ets i'm hoping that you know that's one of the fixes that i'll do but i will be able to talk about the ets which is uh, a bit of a bummer but if you did like this video and it was helpful in, in any way shape or form leave a comment down below and let me know of your thoughts uh, if you need any more help with anything leave a comment down below or come over to my Twitch and ask me there and I will run through whatever problem that you're going through at this moment in time. So, like I said, if you like this video, please leave it a like, uh, subscribe and also click the bell notification so you'll be up to date with all my videos that I create on uh, YouTube. And if you want to show your support even further, come over to my Twitch. I'm live every Monday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I also sometimes Saturday and Sunday from 8 p.m to 2 a.m in the morning so if you need any help with anything or something's not worked or you want to know a bit further about this video or you just want to come and say hello then come and drop by and i'll hope to see you there soon so please have a wonderful day and i hope you have a wonderful christmas and bye bye for now